Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles. Shout to your brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. This is um, another installment for the, the, the site GMS Scripture of the Day. Page the brother Yasharala put together, the gym in Chicago. All right, and here's the scripture, Revelations 13, 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. And that word patience, hupamene, um, steadfastness, constancy, endurance, the New Testament, the characteristic of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety by even the greatest trials and sufferings, man. Hey, so we, hey, we going through hell and we suffer, man, and, we, and we're, to, we're to endure it, man. And part of our patience, part of our hope, part of our faith is the fact that the Lord is going to overturn the, the, these curses, man. Just as the Lord brought these curses upon us, he's going to put these curses upon Esau, man. By our hands, man. All right, the Lord is going. We gotta, we we gotta believe in hope. All right, and and the fact that the Lord said He will get His vengeance upon Edom by the hands of His people, man, Israel. All right, that it says that the saints shall take the kingdom. That's part of our hope, man. We hope to be those men that shall have that two that two edged sword in one hand, man. All right, in the praise of of Yahweh Bashami Hashem in our mouth, man, to come bind these these elites or these heathens in the fetters, man. All right, to come put these fucking Rothschild in chains, man. They're going to serve out at us, man. These Rockefellers, man. All right. Clintons, man. All these elite families, man. The, the rich of the Saudis, man. All these heathens are going to serve us, man. That's part of our patience and faith, man. We enduring through all this hell, hey, knowing that hey, we're going to see the fall of our enemy, like it says in Sirach 24. All right, looking to overcome all this, man, to receive all the goodnesses, and it's our duty to serve you, Howard. We're looking forward to overcoming, to put you heathens in slavery. As it says in Revelation, the second chapter, the 26th verse, man. Looking forward to getting that rod of iron, man, to break you fucking heathens, man. To execute fucking vengeance, man. To get revenge, man. All right? And not we got to remain faithful, knowing that the Yahweh Basham Yahshai is the reward of him that doeth good, man. And we drunk of that cup, Jeremiah 25. So they better believe these heathens going to drink of it, man. And we got to hold fast to that faith, man. Hold fast to, to the fact that, hey, the scriptures say, happy shall he be that take, it, that, that, they, that take it they little ones and dash their heads against those stones, man. Like they did to us, man. Look forward to washing out, hey, like it says, the righteous shall wash their feet in the blood of the wicked. Looking forward to that, man. We're going through hell. Meditate on terror, man. We're going to get our revenge on Esau, man. All right, we're going to put him to the edge of the sword, man. We're going to put him in chains and show him no mercy as he showed us no mercy. And Esau Edom is the so-called Caucasians, man. And you will, and you will be put to fucking uh, in, to, in slavery and to death. So with that all, and you're going to get double what you gave us, Revelation 18, second chapter, or second verse. So with that all, praise and glory to you. How about Shami Haushai? Double irons to the apostles. Salutations to your brothers doing this thing. Sincerity and truth and with charity. Shalom.